Hi, my name is Vince Farrell and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today I'm going to go over a tool that most of you probably don't know about yet. I know that I didn't back in my designer days, but I wish I had. It's the Property Tab Builder and it's a tool to automatically add custom file properties to your parts, assemblies, and drawings. So start with, what are custom file properties? Great question. Every document in SOLIDWORKS has custom file properties that can be shown as notes and in the bill of materials that you have to create. You can either use the standard SOLIDWORKS properties such as material and mass, or you can create your own like supplier. Unfortunately, unless you save those file properties in a document template, you have to recreate them every time you start a new document. The Property Tab Builder solves this by creating different templates of file properties that can be applied to all SOLIDWORKS document types. The templates are separated into parts, assemblies, drawings, and weldments. That way, for example, every part can have the same type of properties. Let's start with creating a file property in a part to show you how that will be carried over into an assembly and drawing. I'm going to open up this part here. So this is a bulkhead that I'm designing in my company's RC car and I have a drawing here. If we go back to the part real quick you can see that there's a material of 1020 steel applied to it but if I go to the drawing here you can see there's nothing in this material block and that's because the drawing is looking for a file property known as that material. What I have to do is go up here to the top, go to my file properties, make sure I'm on the custom tab, and under the property name, I can either type in material, or I can just choose material from the pull down here. And then under the value text expression, again, I can either type it in, or I can just choose there's a material property already available for me there. And that's the SOLIDWORKS material. That's actually a macro that's gonna pull in this information here. You can see that estimated value there, 1020 steel. I hit OK. Now that file property is created, and now we can see in the drawing that the material is there. Well, we can use that property tab builder to actually automate this process. We can get to the property tab builder with nothing open by just going to our SOLIDWORKS resources on the task pane and hitting this property tab builder here. But if we can also, while we're in a document, we can go to the custom properties tab and actually hit create now if we don't have a file available. That opens up the property tab builder here in its own custom window here, separate window, excuse me. <coughs> We have a group box here, and this we can actually create several group boxes if we want, or just one. Well, in this case, I'm gonna do the one, and I'm gonna call this group box properties, okay? And now that we have a group box, we can actually add all these different properties here. So just drag and drop, I'm gonna drag and drop each different type of property over here into my group box. So, to show you guys what each of these does. And you can see I can reorder all of these if I want. The first is that text box, and that's gonna be similar to that file property I just created, which is called material here. And then again, it's the same, works the same way as filling out those file properties. So we can go down here, pick the material that's already available to us. We're gonna go into the value and again, pick that SOLIDWORKS uh, material. Then we can either apply to all configurations basically or uh, configuration specific. Now that we have that text box, we can do a list. List gives a list of items that the designer has to choose from. In this case, I'm gonna use this list as the vendor. And under the name of the list, again, I'm gonna choose a standard uh, property that's already available, which is the vendor. And then we can say the type as a list, text file, Excel file, access database. And under here, I'm just gonna type in two different suppliers, McMaster car and Granger. If I click this button down here at the bottom, I can say allow custom values, which allows them to type it in, or I can just say, no, you can only choose these two. The next one is a number, so it's looking for some kind of numerical input, and in that case, it's gonna be my part number. So I can go here, number, um, part number right here under that property. I'm gonna leave it as zero, because I'm gonna make the designer fill that in. Next, we have the radio button. And again, the radio button gives us different choices that we can choose from. In this case, we're gonna set our radio button to be the finish. 
Okay, so I can, again, I can click from all the different types of properties that are already available. I can change the quantity from two to three if I want. And then here, I'm gonna say either none or powder coat. Okay, so I have two radio buttons to pick from. The des designer has to pick one of these. Next, I have my checkbox, and this is gonna be uh, the purchase checkbox here. So I'm gonna make the caption purchase so that the designer knows they have to click purchased or not purchased here. And if they say it's purchased, then they have to specify what the vendor is going to be. If they say it's not purchased and we're making it, then we have to say what the material is. Hit the save button and notice that it saves it in this default folder here. That is set up by your file um, file locations in your system options. I would recommend keeping this file um, as the default, just makes it easier. And I'm gonna say RC part pops. I can, it's a SolidWorks part property template and I just hit save. Okay, so let me close out that. Let me close all of these parts. Okay, and I'm gonna open up that part again. And if I go back to my uh, file property tab builder, there's all my properties there. Okay, so I can apply the material. I can apply a part number, so 2003. I can say powder coat. And if I say purchased, it or not purchased, excuse me, you can see that the material's there. I hit apply, okay? And now if I go up to my file properties, there's all of those properties in there that I created. I can always go here and go to more properties and it'll take me back into that window again and I can actually add in ones here. If you, and as I said, if I change it from to purchase, then it'll just make me choose the vendor and I can say McMaster car and then go back in here and there we go, there's the vendor. Okay, and I can get rid of this material file property. Also, if I open up another part, I can do the same thing. So apply, see this one's a 1060 alloy. I can, it's already applied there. And again, I can just fill in the part number, say apply, and there's my file properties. So I hope today it went over uh, creating your own property tab template for parts so you can also it's the same process for assemblies drawings weld mints and to automate adding all these helpful file properties into your SOLIDWORKS documents. I really hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please put a like on the video and also subscribe to Hawkridge Systems channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching.